well, 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 well. Fuck you, man. You don't know DJ Marty. You better preach. You may disagree, but up to me, it's a fact. You can't run in backs. It ain't no fun in that. Yeah, the sermon about to start, so I hope you know your stats. And if Kev get it wrong, then Rashad gon' have his back with, with the facts. Matter of fact, all we do is say win. Wins when wins congregation say amen. Trades, debates, wins, losses, the latest news, but Prophet Kev speak, he got him saying hallelujah. I'm welcome to Preach Kev Preach with Rashad in the episode. Another sermon coming at you from Wildcard Sports and Wildcard TV. We took a week off, but we back. Rashad, what's going on, man? Oh, man, we back. Like we never left. March 1st. New month, new energy. Hey, shoot, summertime. They, they, the vibes coming in, bro. The weather picking up a little bit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Falling on our ass. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. Every time it's 88 degree, 85, 80s, I'm out. I'll tell, I'll tell my boss, hey, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to go, man. I'm about to go. I'm enjoy this weather because you got me crazy. I'm gonna be up in here all day, all day long. I'm going to enjoy this. Dude, well, you got to do the, uh, hey, Siri, play that verse Simmons back outside. <laughs> Hey, for real. I was say I was driving, and then that, that childish Gambino uh, feel like summer came on. It was eighty five, but I was like, yeah, this is it. This is it for me. So I think what I think uh, daylight saving times coming up, and then like the first quote unquote official official day of some, uh, spring. So you know, it's it about to be good times, man. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I, I get to see my boys, my Bucks, man. We fear the deer. They coming up to DC, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go travel up there to see that game as well. Um, the NBA NBA is picking up some steam, man. We got Kevin Durant. He's returning. Uh, LeBron James goes down, so so um, we'll see we'll see how how they how, all these new look teams finally like get in the groove. You got like what twenty something games left, uh, things coming down. So um, I want to start I want to start this this NBA round top top table. Uh, let's let's start in the West, man. Um, you know, uh, people still talking about Jokic being like picked almost last in the All Star game, which I don't understand why that's still a topic when like he's not flashy. You know what I mean? So like, why would he be in the, the top pick in this game? Even though he is a two time MVP, potential three time MVP. Because when you look at the Nuggets and the rest of the West, everybody, everybody, everybody in the West pretty much jumbled up together. And then you got the Nuggets who kind of got a good lead out from everybody. And what was the whole reason? Like, why why we were saying Jokic like was was winning? Like, well, he didn't have Jamal Murray, Porter was out, and they still like the five seed. But he's doing this and this and this. Now that he has a team. And he's actually been better than <laughs> the previous two seasons. It's like almost like – and everybody keeps saying like, oh, he got to show me in the playoffs. He got to show me in the playoffs. I'm like, well, didn't he make the conference finals a couple years ago? Like he – he, they don't have no team. Jamal Murray was hurt. Porter Jr. had a back issues. Aaron Gordon is turning up right now. And you got one of the best coaches in the league. So I, I, I guess – I just think people don't watch Denver is my thing because now they're saying he, he's stat patting. Like, how 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 is slow behind that head? Like you know what I'm saying? Like how he out here to get you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, yo take man, uh, cause I think the Nuggets are for real, and I think I think when we talk about like you know always the Lakers always in the media. You got the Mavericks with Kyrie, and, and we'll talk about you know Kawhi and and, and the Suns with KD. But it's like this team has been the most consistent every all year, and we and we just go overlook overlook them because Jokic been MVP twice and they lost before. Like that just that don't that's just not crazy to me. Yeah, the the stuff surrounding Jokic right now is real interesting. Uh, you mentioned they did make the West Finals. That was the the bubble year. Um, I was surprised they made it because they went seven against Utah, the, the the Mitchell Murray matchup. They went seven against the Clippers. They had to come back, so Clippers blew that one, <laughs> and then they lost in five to the Lakers. So they were the third seed, third seed. Six seed and now they're the one seed, so they're on a a damn good little four year stretch right now. Right. Um, the window probably is now. NBA windows are different than NFL windows. As long as you kind of got your core, you, you, some young players, you're you're fine. But like you said, they mentioned, you know, they, they they were missing Jamal Murray and stuff like that. Um, but this year they have Murray back. They're on a pretty a pretty good little run, but I think the criticism is kind of coming from like the when you're a back to back MVP and you're probably going to be a three time MVP. M- most of the time, when the the multiple time MVPs outside of Steve Nash Carmelo. and now Jokic, most most of them are champions, like Jordan, 
uh, Duncan, Bird, Magic, like they either were already champions or they won more, and and they won more after they achieved that second, third MVP. So it's not really too many guys that have multiple that aren't champions. So Bron forgot, can't forget Bron, can't forget Curry. So yeah, even we got to throw Giannis in. Giannis got his two back to back. What he did the next year, he went and got his got his chips. Like, so but that, that's the thing, though. What did he do it this year? Like just like Giannis, like Giannis did exactly. Yeah, like so he. <laughs> but I, but I think that's where it's going. Like Jokic has to do it now. Um, right. I think that that's where the conversation is going. Of like, we're gonna get to do three MVPs potentially, and he hasn't even made a finals, or you know, because. Three MVPs that's in a row. That's that, that, that that's that's unheralded territory. So I I can see where the criticism, you know, the the flag is coming from because when they do lose in the playoffs, they do normally lose bad. Like the Suns, <laughs> the Suns did sweep them. I think the Warriors got them in five. Yep. Last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last year. Lakers got I think I think Lakers got them in five in, in the bubble. So when they do lose, it's normally like in convincing fashion, yeah, not that, yeah, not that for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can, I can, I can see it from all sides, bro. Like I'm, I favor Giannis for MVP personally. Thirty-one and thirteen, almost six assists, playing through injuries, playing without his second best player. Well, a lot of people think Drew's the second best I'm player say, now. Drew, Drew. I mean, right, 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 today. Drew definitely number two because Drew been going crazy, but obviously Chris Middleton coming back, which he actually is getting into form, so he's he's coming back too. Yeah, like the records are basically the same. Bucks are forty four and seventeen. Nuggets are forty four and nineteen. Um, the numbers Giannis is putting up, carrying the team. He's had a few knick knack injuries. Thought he was gonna miss some time, but he's pushing through. It's neck and neck, but the triple double is cool. But I'm it, I I'm edging Giannis right now for the MVP. Like if you told me to put a percentage on it, like it's close as hell. It's like fifty one percent Giannis, forty percent Jokic for me right now. It's is that close? Like it can change by the time these last nineteen twenty games play out. And then I still got MB right there in it too. Like for him to be leading the league in scoring, putting the numbers he's putting up on so many different facets. Uh, I think it's neck and neck for all of them. Still got to throw Tatum in there. But yeah, the, the stuff surrounding Jokic is because he doesn't have the title, and if he gets that third MVP and they don't win the title, um, I think it's just more one of those keep that same energy type of things. Of you know, we, we it's like some people think he's getting the pass, and you know, you got perks and stat pad, in which I don't, I don't really get that. Uh, see, and this is the thing: it's really the NBA fault. If we don't, we want to blame Jokic, but why the hell did he get the MVP last year as a six seed? That was bro. That's, the, that's that's the reason. That, Cause the, think about it. He got better. His MVP this year is his his potential MVP this year is better than the other two seasons, without a doubt. And now he's the one seed. So this would be the year he should get it. Like he should have won the two years ago, lost last year. Then then I don't think they have a problem giving it to. Like you know what I'm saying? No, there won't be no issue. But because you want to give it to the six seed, and yeah, good storyline. Like no Murray, no Porter. I get that. I get that. But we had the debate. Well, you know, we was team all them damn analytics. <laughs> we was damn, <laughs> we was damn team, team team NB last year and Giannis. Like so, you know that's and I I think that's really what it is. Like because y'all gave it to him last year when y'all shouldn't have when he was a six seed, and like and then, and then you get mad because he get bit put out by five by the by the adventure champions. So like low key, if you play Denver, you gonna win the championship. Low key. So well, well, at least. <laughs> At least, at least make it there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, like last four years, Lakers won the title. Uh, Suns made it. Warriors made it hey, and won the title. You played the Nuggets and you beat them. Hey, I'm, I'm <laughs> you got to put it on them. Uh, but I, I like. I mean, I, I think I think the Nuggets got a good chance. I mean, right now, it's I don't. The the the, pro- the problem is they're the one seed, and the problem is because the Suns and the Warriors and. With with Curry coming back and you got the Clippers, they all right there, and that, that's that's your second round matchup. But I think the problem is, and, and here y'all, it's, it's a little crazy. The problem is, he could potentially still be the best player on the court in any series. Depends on how you look at it. Now, I mean, obviously we know Kevin Durant and Curry are more like the the flash offensive players. Obviously, the Kawhi 
you know, in, in them. But it's like he do this. I mean, he he do this night in, night out. You know what I'm saying? And I know we talk about injuries, but one thing you can't count on Jokic. He going to be there. Like, and, and that's like probably his best ability. Like, that's probably his best skill. Like, he going to be the 82 games where the other guys, 60, 65. And, and it's not like he he's not using his athleticism to go crazy, to to be tired and stuff like that. So, uh, so you say, you say they don't got a chance. So, all right, so if – Right, currently, right now, they get a one seed. If they play Minnesota or Utah, I think they put them out. Um, but so, like, potentially a four, four, five Suns or Warriors. So, give me. A, I guess we can just shift going to another team. You know, Suns or Warriors. Like, what are you looking about them as far as like if you don't think Nuggets can make it? That means one of these two teams is putting them out. Like, the stand is right now just for you know just to time stamp it. The Nuggets are the one seed. Grizzlies are two. Kings are three, Suns are four, Warriors five, Clippers six, and of course, playing got to play itself. But we're going to say the these teams make it. Mavs at seven, and Wolves are at eight. Nuggets, based upon this, Nuggets would beat the Wolves more than likely, and then I would think in a four or five, the Suns would beat the Warriors. Even though they're similarly, they both kind of have the same thing going on, like similar situations of. Let's get Curry back in the fold. Let's get KD acclimated. If you just throw the ball out there and say, hey, seven-game series, Suns-Warriors, I'm taking the Suns. So that would put the Suns versus the Nuggets. And I just think the Suns got too much firepower. Now, chemistry is very, very underrated. Mm-hmm. You the think- Nuggets do have the chemistry. I was like, you don't think the Nuggets got enough firepower? I mean – the the Aaron Gordon situation is is really why like him being where he is now like who all right so all right I I, I guess is I guess is how you word this question obviously if you're taking a team you're probably gonna build it around Aiden right over Aaron Gordon if you had to choose one right but it's like who the better player is as a, as the fourth guy if if Jamal and Michael Porter are two and three I don't know if that's true or not I mean Gordon Gordon been playing some good basketball I don't know they, I mean I know Kevin Durant and Devin Booker like like that but I don't know man. I mean, I'm looking at – when you're looking at two or the top 12 players in the game, Jokic is one of the – like, it, it the, the the amount of bucket getting that <laughs> KD and Booker can do – because, like, Jokic got to do every doggone thing. Yeah. And at some point, you're going to try to cut some of that off. I mean, in a seven-game series, it, it's about matchups and it's about – you, you can tweak stuff. You're not playing in Milwaukee, flying to Dallas, flying to Portland. You're going to be in the same city for a couple of nights. You can watch film and you can hone in on strengths and weaknesses. He's older, but his mind is still sharp as I don't know what. Chris Paul is going to find some some matchups to, to nitpick on. Yeah, for sure. KD can score on anybody. Booker can score on anybody. Yep. Murray ain't all defense. I mean, his defense solid, but he not all defense. Jokic is not definitely not all defense, and he's solid. So I don't want to say like he just be out there just a traffic cone. Like <laughs> Jokic, Jokic is a solid defender in, in spurts. Gordon really your best defender. Gordon, neither one of them got a, a great bench to me. But I was I would just say the Suns over the Nuggets, I, or even if this wants to swap up a little bit, somebody moves up, moves down. I'm still gonna favor Clippers. Um, I would still favor Clippers and probably Warriors over Nuggets. Nuggets would probably be like the fourth. If I was ranking like who would win the championship from the West, I would probably put Nuggets fourth, third, or fourth, <laughs> depending See, upon Curry. Who do you think is the deepest team in the West? Uh, deepest, I gotta go Clippers. Okay, that's why they got so they got so many bodies they can't even figure rotation out. Right, and I was thinking that too. So I think I think, but I think after Clippers, I think you might have to say the Nuggets, and I think that's probably where where they're like like that where like they get overlooked at, like because I think I think they brought in Reggie Jackson for the buyout, um, as well as a good backup. Like I know you can say I know you can say you can say what you want about Reggie Jackson. But it's all about it's all about the role, right? Like him him as a starter for the Clippers on a championship team. That's not a that's not ideal, right? For a championship team, not as a point guard anyway, right. because he's not a traditional point guard. He's right. not gonna he's exactly. not a get everybody involved type of guy. He's more of a I'm gonna get you 15 to 20 points. I can I can easily get three to 
three to five assists, but asking me to try to dime everybody up and get eight assists, that's that's right. kind of not what he does. But asking him to be a role player for eighteen minutes, that's that's great. Oh, you know you, you, so, you good? So you, so you, you know, you know. So yeah, so I'm I'm very interested to see how the Suns play out. We know we, we still got we got what twenty game sample to see how this Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Chris Paul thing gonna work. Which which is is gonna work because eight don't need the ball to be great. Chris Paul want to pass the ball anyway, and Devin Booker. And Chris Paul gonna be averaging ten and ten. Hey, <laughs> but hey, <laughs> thanks. So, but Devin Booker is like probably one of the most unselfish stars we have in the league. Like. He'll, bro, he'll, that's why him and KD work. Bro, that's why KD yeah. and Steph work. Like, yeah. these, these dudes just want to hoop. They want to win the game. They, and Kevin, Kevin are unselfish too. So, like, you're talking about three unselfish guys and the fourth guy who you – your future, I guess you want to say, he can he don't need the ball to be effective. He gonna, he just get the rebound and go dunk and run a flow. He going to get points just off that alone. So, yeah, they they will always have the strongest four. That it's the strongest big four out of everybody, of course, um, especially if Chris Paul will stay healthy. But – um. I think I think the Suns need to work on figure out who did they get anybody in point guard yet to back them up. I mean, I know they were talking about D Rose and but D Rose never got bought out yet and yeah, like the, the Suns they are gonna have to shore up the, the backup the point guard spot. Like they can go you know, get a Gordon Dragic or something like that. Could, could, yeah. if, if D Rose get bought, they can bring in D Rose. Like we still got a little more window of time where if you're bought out, you can still sign with the with the team. So right. the Suns they'll they'll figure it out. They they got a little bit of time. Yeah, I, I do like I do like um uh, Damian Lee, the former Golden State Warrior on the Suns. Yeah, that's that's a good little role player. Him and uh, I think they got um, what's the wing? Um, um Terrence Ross, Tory Craig. So like, they they the Suns the Suns team the, the Suns are top heavy, but it's still a solid. Yeah, team. yeah, yeah. I mean. I mean, this is this is great coaching, and I I want to talk about another. They're only asking for what twenty more games regular season, and if you win seven in all four series, that's twenty eight games. You only asking for at most forty eight games out of what you got. Right. I mean, you can you can you, you can you survive. Can, with yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you can survive. But see, the th- the thing about the Nuggets, the thing about the Suns, great coaching, right? Wars, obviously, Steve Kerr, Tyron Lue, Clippers. Now, this team, this team that's in the middle of all these teams, the Sacramento Kings. Now we got a little baby Coach Joker. Of my friend. Coach of the year, for sure. I, I don't see what, what what argument would you give anybody else. There's, I mean, I don't. I mean, Nuggets been here before. Uh, Bugs been here before. Boston been here before. Let's, let's want to give it to the newcomer. Uh, Dot Rivers been here before. Big Stad was good last year. They just fell apart. So uh, there's there's really there's really no other argument because this team this team was not supposed to be here, right? Um, you got little baby Joker and Sabonis over there going crazy. Uh, Darren Fox is showing why he was he should have been also the first time, you know. Uh, I think this I think this like and, and it's crazy. Like I really think the the Kings should be taken serious. Now I think that's a I think that's a separate conversation of saying they're a contender, but I don't like that six that six matchup. Like Kings gave the Clippers hell. Like we this I mean obviously this is one of the best games we ever seen in our lives. Man, uh, second but, high point ever. <laughs> so ever this, this is one of the best games ever of all time as far as regular season concerned. So, but. The, the the Clippers gonna have the like like you you're gonna have your hands full whoever team get the Kings now not only are they coach great because Mike Brown been around the block for a while we we'll have LeBron and being on the Warriors staff but they're young as hell like the and you know what they don't do they don't talk shit like the damn Grizzlies they just play basketball yeah Grizzlies most annoying team in the NBA I hope Grizzlies get swept. <laughs> And, I, and you know, I yeah, love Bay, like, I bro, love John. I, I, yeah. But the rest of them, I, 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 I'm not a Grizzly. I'm not a supporter of the Grizzlies. Either. I mean, John, John, one of the best players in the game, one of the most exciting players in the game. See, Bay don't talk. Uh, Taylor, like Taylor Jenkins is a, is a good coach. What he's doing with them is dope. But Grizzlies easily number one most annoying team in, in the game right now. And hopefully, all this, I mean, bad timing anytime. But all this stuff coming out about John. <sighs> What? These accusations of beating people up and pulling guns. Boy, it's not a gangster. Stop it, Red, red light beaming on people. Hey, Ja got to ja gotta settle down, boy. He tri- he, he, ja ja going to be sitting beside Thugger, man. Why <laughs> sell? Oh, man. But you, you, you're probably right. I, but I do think the Kings need to be taken serious because, I mean, they got a full-game win streak right now as of uh, March 1st. Um, and, like, that's a team that you really like. If you think about it, like, that's the team that we want to miss the playoffs, right? Like, because they weren't supposed to be here. Like, they shouldn't be here. The Jazz shouldn't be here in a way. Like, give me, get, give us Dame and LeBron to play in. That's what we want to see anyway. You know what I mean? I know LeBron just got hurt, but, but the King, the Kings show y'all like, and and the problem is like everybody keeps saying the Kings ain't gonna be this, Kings ain't gonna be this, but yet they still there. Like, 
So when the drop off supposed to happen? Like they ain't did it yet. I, and it, what, how many games we in? And you, I think you said it. You, uh, you said it best yourself. Yeah, yeah. King, Kings are sixty one games in. They they looking pretty good. They got twenty one more to go. You said you said what? Uh, your, your, your famous quote says you you do everything by twenty game sample size. Well, we got three sets of twenties, and they are over five hundred and by a large margin. So. Um, I, I like the direction they're going. I mean, I think they probably it, it's one of those teams that like probably a year too early, but I think it's a great experience because th- I mean, think about it. They're three C right now. They go they go get Luca. I mean, obviously, you think you would say, "Oh, I'm taking Luca every time with Kyrie," but these boys ain't get together yet. So you you got to hope that your chemistry, just like the Nuggets, are going to, are going to play in effect. You know what I mean? With with cause I think I think they did everything right. Like you got the you traded your your, your, your new piece for Sabonis. Uh, you got good wing shooting, def- defense. I mean, I don't, I don't think you don't have this. You don't just have the superstar. I, I mean, you got two all stars, but from where the Kings have been, they're in a good spot. For sure. I mean, they haven't made the playoffs in like 15, 16 years, bro. So like, it's good to even be in this spot is good. You know, they are. Heck, they might even um. Yeah, because they're in the same division. So, like, division wise, they can win the Pacific Division because the they're in the same division. That's crazy to say, right? Warriors, Lakers, and Clippers. That's, that's crazy to say. So, I mean, to think to think about that. I know divisions aren't really valued in the NBA like that, like they should be. But for the Kings to be able to say, "Yo, we won the Pacific Division. We're gonna be, we're still in the running to be the top, the, the second seed, because they're only Grizzlies thirty seven to twenty three. Kings thirty six twenty five, right there. So two, two through, two through ten is really up for grabs. Yeah, honestly, for sure. and and that's the that's the like it's a good thing and a bad thing because like even like the Mavericks they just took a two game losing streak, and the Warriors won three game wins for now 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 everybody's saying the Warriors back. Like now you the Warriors played the the Blazers, who Blazers blew the game, and they played the Wolves. So they they beat two teams that's worse than them, like. And now they now they right there. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's like, oh, the war is back. Ah, I guess. You know. Um, but all right, so all right, aside from Minnesota, do you give the Kings any shot? Or 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 I guess what is the best case scenario you think happens to the Kings in the playoffs? Like, can they get can they pull? King, King, Kings can make second round. Okay. They they can make second round. I I can think of basically every team. Cause they can beat Mavericks. Na- I know Luka's great, but every team not named the Suns. That they could potentially match up with, they can beat them. I mean, we saw they put like the Clippers game. The Clippers really blew it. They had like a eleven point lead with like I think like three minutes ago, something like four minutes ago, and they they blew it. So now in the over a seven game sample size, Ty Lue coaching, Clippers got some good wing defenders. I would betting wise, I would trust them to overpower the Kings at some point. Right, correct, but. I, I'm not going to just say the Kings have no chance. They have a if they play the Clippers in three six. They have a chance. If they play Mavs in three six, I think they would take the Mavs because the Kings are the number one scoring team. I think they, the number one, number two. I think OKC right there with them. Like they can put points on the board. If you can't guard nobody, the Mavericks, like <laughs> potential trouble, potential trouble for real. Yeah, I mean, I think they could take every team: Clippers, Mavs, Wolves, Jazz. Uh, whoever got to that six spot, I think they could take them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I well, would not count them out at all. Do you do you think do you think the Warriors are done? Because Draymond Green, the dynasty <laughs> is over. I okay. thought that was I thought that was it. Yeah, after last year, and they really stole the title last year. If you think about it, like they they low key really weren't supposed to be there. They just some lot of stuff happened how it happened and. Uh, Tatum and the crew and Celtics, they didn't make enough plays in certain spots, and Tatum, it just yeah. kind of went the other way. Yeah, because I, I mean, bro, Suns were number one seed last year, won sixty four games, and they didn't even play the Warriors. The Warriors played, um, like Suns didn't even make the West, the West Finals. Right, it's so, like best team didn't even make the West Finals. Like the Warriors were like three seed, and uh, Mavs, Mavs got there, but I mean. Yeah, I just I thought the Warriors kind of stole the title last year. I thought the Celtics, when you when you watch it from a, a yeah. hindsight point of view, the, the Celtics, Curry took over the, the game three and game four the turning point. Yeah, no, I'm about to say, I'm about to say Warriors probably don't beat the Suns in seven, only because if like especially Chris Paul helped. Like I think 
I mean, they, they all got banged up. The Suns got banged up in that, in that Pelican series, and I mean, they had, they had a fight on their hands the whole time with trying to fight off CJ and Bi. Then you had to fight Luca, like so. I mean, and, and maybe the wars would have wore, wore them down eventually, maybe. But, um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be an interesting interesting race in this West because like you can't really you can't really pick a one and say they're gonna do it. Like, yeah, the Suns have the the best potential because of you know what they got, but they also the team out of out of at least the at least the top six with the least chemistry because the Mavericks still trying to figure it out. I know the Clippers added Russ in 0 and three, but let's not let's not act like it's Russ fault in these games. They they not they not guard nobody uh, in these games <laughs> that he's losing. And it's then the like War- Nuggets and Grizzlies are the only ones with team chemistry. Like Warriors have their their run together, but they still kind of working guys back in. You know, Curry got to get back in. Right. They had to get Clay back in acclimated. They traded off Wiseman and stuff like that. You got to still figure out your your minutes with closing time, you know, with Clay, Steph, Poole, and then now you got to figure out how you're going to do, you know, Wiggins, Draymond. You got you to still small figure out. Some stuff. I mean, your best five players, you small. So that, that's that's yeah. the, that's the like, that, that's going to be the Achilles heel probably. Yes, but they got to they still figure some stuff out where they line up. Because if you run, if you run into a Jokic or eight and a KD or – You small as hell. <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna say I seen I seen Jokic play the game that Nuggets did win against the Warriors last year. Like I saw that game live and they really couldn't stop him. He, they got something all serious, really. They just Nuggets didn't have enough talent. You know, a, a Warriors did more. You know, in, in in that in that in that sense. So it's it's gonna be a um it's gonna be interesting. So if if you had if you just had to, I guess based off what the standings are right now, who who on you know, March first with nobody you know knowing LeBron's hurt, knowing KD is back. Uh, what is your what is your Western Conference Finals if you had to pick today based off the current standings? Uh, Suns, Clippers, the four C and the six C. Whew, that's would, that is crazy I to would, say, but they all close closer, you know. Yeah, you know, like they they, they all these teams like half game, one game apart. So, how, however the standings shake out is going to determine who makes the West Finals. But based upon today, I would take Clippers in the six three six over the Kings. I would take Suns over Warriors in the four five. I would take Nuggets over Wolves in a 1-8. So that puts Nuggets versus Suns. So I would have Suns advancing. Uh, so Kings losing to Clippers. And then in a 2-7, I would take Mavs over Grizzlies. Okay. And, and that would give us the Clippers and Mavs. And I would take Clippers over Mavs. You see, I don't know who would win that series. Between. I look at the one that series to happen. Grizzlies and Mavs. I kind of want both of them to lose. Me too. So... And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> we, we got to hold some, some maneuvering go go on. Then. I say, hopefully, this don't happen because I I'd rather the Warriors. I mean, I don't want the Warriors win either. If I get my, if I get my my my, I really wish the uh, the Kings get a two and put it, take the Mavericks out or something. And and war and like I said, Warriors go home. But uh, I, I think I I roll with you. I think the Nug. I really think the Nuggets and Kings should be taken very very seriously though. Like I know I know when you look at Jokic and, and it's a bonus, and you see Jamal and, and uh, Darren Fox. Like well, they're not the names of the names. Obviously, Jokic uh, is, but like they're not—they're not the guy. They're not the KDs and the ADs and Lucas and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like you kind of like look at, overlook them a little bit. So I think I really think they might do some damage. I don't know. I—I I, 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 if if the Nuggets and the Kings make the second round, teams are one hell of piss because they they failed. Like all these all these teams gonna fail. Like if you lose in the first round, your season to fail. All these teams should win the championship except maybe the Kings and the Warriors, right? And probably like if you don't win the championship, yeah. you fail. Well, anything less than a title for Clippers, Warriors, Mavs, and Suns is going to kind of be a ding on your record. Yeah, I say Jokic uh, just because of the like, three. three like yeah. I, I think Suns have a little grace period because like we can always say, well, they got KD late in no in March. They got him late. They didn't get a chance to build any chemistry. Chris Paul is older. Yada yada yada. Warriors, we can always say, well, Steph is just coming back and stuff like that. So like, you can kind of get them that excuse, but at the same time, it's like, yo, both of y'all windows short. Clippers too, man. y'all nice. got all this money invested, sign all these people and don't win it. Trade. Mavs, y'all traded for Kyrie. <laughs> they they have no excuses. Like they gonna get beat up in the media. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. All right, we'll take a break and then we'll come back to the east side. All, all right, right, before we transition, bro, let's uh. Let's hit on our preseason pick, man. <laughs> we we both had we, we were both riding high on the Pelicans, man. We thought the CJ Zion 
Brandon Ingram combo is gonna do it, man. Shout out to Jonas too. Jonas always is a solid, a solid fan duel bit. But we thought they were gonna do it, man. It's Zion's fault, man. I that's I, I thought it was Zion's fault. He won like er, early on, we, we were riding away, the man. They were top two, top three. <laughs> hey, you know what's scary though? You know what's scary? If he come back and they make it, I still like him. <laughs> Bro, if they get in the play in. I, I don't care like who them. they play. They, they they might steal the series. I still like them. That's the bad thing about it. Like because and the problem is it's gonna piss me off if they play the Nuggets first round. I'm gonna be so mad. Like I need to know, I need them to go make the play in and win the first game to be the seventh seed and get the damn Grizz about it. This bitch. Oh sorry, <laughs> get the Grizz out. Of the game. <laughs> I'm mean, in my bad. I'm mean, to get the Grizz out here. Oh, uh, but I'll say that I still I still like him if he come back, but. He 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 got he got mad at people for asking him, is he done for the season? At like, but it's twenty games. Like, bro, like, look at on. your history. This is a valid question. Like, what you mad for? It's like, twenty it's twenty games. Like, I ain't had no news about it yet. So, hopefully, hopefully he come back uh, fairly fairly quickly because them boys reeling. Like, bi and city trying, but they just they run they they run to a little tough little stretch there, and they they lost like four or five games in a row. Yeah, man. Like, sure, I think Zion only played. 29, 30 games this year, man. So they they need they need to get him back in there. See, they was good when he was like missing like a two games and then he come back for eight and then he go crazy and then he miss another two. That that I was okay with that. But him missing this much time? I'm mad cause I was about to go see him play live until he got hurt the, like the week before. I said, like, come on, was I on? But uh, all right, what about what about Dame, man? Cause I, Dame I, time. I got I got, got, got blazes on the got home with my boy Dame. He's going crazy right now. I, he, man. That, that that seventy one was crazy, but what did you think about people saying they think we're gonna see a, a hundred point score in a game one day, bro? I, I'm I'm not right. That's a lot of shots, bro. Bro, <laughs> to me, to me, there's no footage of the Wilt one hundred. I believe it happened, but there's no footage of it. Granted, the times and all that kind of stuff. That's a lot to of, me, the that's bar a, is Kobe's eighty one. That's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would to, say to yeah, me, that, that's the bar. And we saw D Book got seventy, Mitchell seventy one, Dame seventy. So that, that three guys got close to it, but. That's and bro, lot. look at what they had to do to even get close to it. Like a lot of threes. A like Dame, Dame didn't miss any free throws, and he made thirteen threes, and he still only got seventy one. I'm about to say, I want how many how many threes did D book? I feel like Kobe didn't make that. I don't feel like he because he, he didn't set a record that night for threes. So Kobe only had like seven eight threes, bro. That's a lot. Of like he was like he was just killing the mid range. I think he was eighteen or twenty from the free throw. Yeah, line. That's what, yeah. That, that added so up like, pretty quick. So eighteen too. points from the free throw. Seven times three is twenty-one. So you only had thirty-nine. So you got you got your other forty-two on just yeah, busting true. heads from the mid-range, Lays fadeaways, and dunks, and dunk, dunks, layups. Man. That's gonna be hard. It's good. Nobody, nobody, nobody's getting a hundred. Nobody's getting hundred. No. I don't. Bro, I don't believe that. I need to see somebody get seventy-five because from what we've seen, seventy-one is the top out. Mitchell got 71 in overtime, which the game shouldn't have went overtime when you look at the footage. <laughs> but that's another story another day. Dane got his 71. Book got his 70. Well, he was forcing. He forced that. Because, because Earl Watson left him in. He wanted to make sure Book built that confidence up to be that guy he is today. So he he got that 70 in a – no, he was trying to re, you know, reel the team back in the game. Right. But those are like the three highest we saw in recent memory. And the fact that the game changed so much and Curry ain't got it, that's kind of crazy too. Or Clay, you know, yeah, the way I, is, I, I think know. Curry, Curry got like a, a, a high six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Clay and Clay had his uh, what, a sixty-two. Giannis had a sixty. Giannis, Giannis had sixty this year. Um, Luca had Luca had a fifth fifty-point triple double. So his guy's been close. It's just, it's just that's just so many baskets, and you got to be so like, and I'm not saying you selfish, but like. To 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 for Dame to get like he, he played the Rockets right so he didn't play nobody and who who Mitchell played you remember who he played against they were playing um it wasn't Jazz they were playing um, I feel like it was somebody let me let me not say that for it might, it might be a good team Mitchell seventy one let me see who he played real quick uh let's see the Bulls I want to say the damn Bulls get out of here oh yeah, yeah you know they yeah. play on defense. <laughs> All right, so you talking about two of the worst teams, like at defense, like I don't know, it's it's gonna be hard. So you're right, 70, 71, 75 is probably the the new one hundred because you're not gonna get because it's too many, it's too much talent for you to get like 
71. And like, if you think about it, Dame, Dame, Dame and Mitchell on teams where outside of Garland, nobody really going to score 30, right? I mean, Mobley have potential, but not really. You know what I mean? Like, they, nobody, nobody on Dame. Dame got it because Simon's out, out right now. Dame didn't get close to 70 before. Like, so it's, it's a lot of too, it's too much talent, yeah. I think, to get you 80. Yeah, Dame, Dame has like five or six games over 60 points. Like, he's yeah. up there, but. Damn, so yeah, to, to me, Kobe's 81 is the bar. When you just think about all the factors of, all right, you got to have your endurance up. You got to you gotta start off the game hot or get hot second half. And you got to be hot from three. You got to be able to get some easy mid-range layup dunks. You got to be able to connect you, on your free throws. You probably need about 40 at halftime, to be honest. Like, man. And, like, Dame had, like, like 41. 45, I think. So, he really, he, really, he really was worse. He really should have got – he really – <laughs> to the bit more. Bro, he didn't score in the second half until like six minutes into the third quarter. Yeah. So see, he, he, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe nobody will get that. Um, but one question for go to the East though: Do you really think? Do you think Portland should just trade him? I, I know he don't want to get traded, but as a, as a, as a. Member of the franchise and like, you know what? This this guy deserves to like he deserves to win and we can't do it. Like, should they just go say, I, I know you want to, but we're gonna trade you. It's no, it's nah, not, they it, can't do it. You don't think they can do it? I, I just they, they, they can't do it, bro. You, you, gotta, gotta, you gotta force him to go, man, because he's not gonna go. And he didn't he's not, he not going he's not going he's not going to go, he's not gonna do it, he's not gonna do it. You have to you have to he's not gonna win. They, Portland can't do it. They from a marketing standpoint, they need him to sell those tickets. From just a family standpoint, from from a, a family standpoint, you know he he's Oakland. So if you're not going to Golden State, you're probably not going to land on the Lakers, Clippers, or Kings, and you're probably not going to land on the Suns at this point. Portland is the closest thing you can get to be close to your family, so they can still get to some of the games. So from a a personal standpoint, to him, he's not going anywhere. And from a franchise standpoint, selling those tickets. Uh, just the ownership. If they were to try to change ownership, you got to have something to sell to the new owner. That's fair. Because the Allen family, you know, they they have the Blazers and Seattle, so they got to you get you got to have something to sell yeah, to got, the next they, owner to sell the team. They got, a, they got a whole thing going on too about that, like, yeah. That's so crazy story. <laughs> so I, I I don't see. I think Dame is either going to retire there or once his current contract is up, which will be another I think three to five years, he may sign somewhere else then, but. You know what? I think he said he said in an interview a while back that he would go to the Lakers or Utah. This was like maybe four or five years ago. I Utah might not be bad, but if you want to stay close to home and and you got an All Star yeah. with you, but I I I, I, I wish like I wish it was like an alternate universe that we could see like what would Dame do if he was over here? Like because it's 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 sad that uh like if you have a look at people like stats and like look at like how many times people win Player of the Months. Like for big names, you don't see a lot of. Them. They don't win a lot, but I feel like oh. Dame won like every month this year. <laughs> he went, he went every damn yeah, month. He's been, he been on a tear, man. Like I feel bad they probably won't make the playoffs, but he's been on a tear. He's definitely man. We need we need resubmitting to- himself as a top ten player in the game. Like I know people want to devalue the regular season and stuff like that, but what Dame and the hardness we're doing in Houston and. Just some of the stuff people have done in the regular season, man, you can't discount this stuff. Because at the end of the day, if the regular season is devalued, if the regular season doesn't mean anything, why do we celebrate Brown becoming the all-time scoring king? Exactly. So, so like, you got to look at all these nuances that people try to always downplay this and always ring count and all that kind of crap. All right, look, I think I got the perfect I got the perfect plan for Day to make him at least maybe win something in his life. If you're not going to leave Portland, if you're the Portland GM, you should be trading your picks to be in the exact same draft that Bronny James Jr. come out, and that's your chance to get LeBron. That's all you. That's all you can do. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> like, draft Bron- hey, I don't care what pick I get. One, two, three, four. Bronny James Jr. and then LeBron, come on over. Here. That's all. That's all you can do because I don't see no other way. Nobody coming to Portland. Like we all heard the rumors about NB a couple years ago, but like that's dead. Like they're not unless NB ask out. Like. Like, all right, so I, 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 can't, I can't even see. I feel like MB a little Philly too so much. So I'm about to say, I'm about to say, if you can name me one star, one star that would say, F it, I'm going to play with Dame. Like, it, it, they also fit the timeline. Like, who is there, any, is there anybody? Like, because 
NB makes sense because he can say like we not win like if he don't win again like and Harden getting older and older, older like I, like I, I guess but I I'm just try, I can't think of, I can't think of nobody else like looking at the pieces on the team and what you could probably make shake and considering who's in the market right now I could see some type of future picks. Shade on sharp, something like that, to like the Raptors for Siakam, something like that. But that's probably about okay, the so go, best you go can after the Raptors. That's okay. probably about the best you can do because I don't see the Bucks moving anything. I I doubt Brown bails on Celtics. I doubt Embiid bails on Philly. Only way Embiid may bail is if Harden leaves and he don't trust Doc gets fired or something like that, then he don't have any faith in the team anymore. Yeah. But outside of those two, potentially Embiid or Siakam. I think everything else is kind of set in stone. Yeah, I, I can agree. I, I would say, I would say, you know what? That's that's probably going after the Raptors, and then hoping that Sixers lose in the first round. So we might well just go that's right to the top of the East. Uh, all right. So we know we got we 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 in the East now. Uh, my boys won 15 games in a row. Uh, they stay at the top of the of the East now. Uh, Boston right behind them, a half game, and then the Sixers are you know, five games behind them. Um, after that, it's pretty much a little drop off. I mean, the Cavs, the Cavs are pretty set at four. I don't think they're going to fall off. I think adding Mitchell, we knew this was the this was it. Like, uh, let's bring in Mitchell. The team was good last year. We just fell off because we didn't have no All Star. Now we got All Star. Easy, easy decision. So Cavs there. That, the top four is good. Is do you do you expect Bucks, Celtics, Sixers? One of those, two of those three should be in the Eastern Conference Finals. Like, I mean, Bucks and Celtics should be there. No excuse. no excuse. Best player, best player in the league, Giannis. Deepest team in the league, Celtics. Tatum, top five MVP candidate. They have barring one of their major guys going down. That should be the East Finals. So, if, if Sixers don't make a conference finals, so with, with that, with that realistic expectation, you saying the Bucks are making it and the Celtics make it? Do you blame the Sixers for not making it? Like, 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 do you think they should change stuff up because they, they can't? They're not better than them. I guess that's a better question. I mean, what can they really do? Right, exactly. Because that's, that's Embiid's what, that's what your franchise. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you you did get off of Ben before whatever we're seeing right now. Oh, it's so but whatever Ben going through, I hope a boy get better. But he still keep getting them checks, man. <laughs> ben catching them checks. But they, they moved off of Ben to get Harden. Uh Harden is still playing great ball. He's not in his prime like he was in Houston. He's still he going crazy. playing great yeah. ball. Maxie's coming along. Tobias, Tobias. I mean, you, you, you added, yeah, you got, still got Tobias. You added PJ. You made some moves that should get you to the East Finals, but I feel like there's still no shame in losing to one of these other two teams. I think that's. I mean, that's that's the best. That's the real answer you can give. God. And that's the thing. Like they like, oh, we got to fire a dog because we lost to the Celtics. What? Or lost to the Bucks. What? Like if I'm if I'm just you you can't strategically do this, but if I'm the Sixers, I would probably rather play the Bucks than the Celtics. I just feel like the Celtics is a way worse matchup than the Bucks would be. Because at least you can kind of say, all right, Giannis and the well, they lead. can't they can't guard Tatum or Brown at all. Yeah, so like at least to me the the East. A potential East Finals berth is on the line, depending upon if you get the third seed or the fourth seed. If Sixers get the fourth seed and the Bucks are the one, I would like their chances better against the Bucks in the second round than Celtics. But if you're going to play the Celtics, I think you're going to lose in probably five. Because you have no answer for Tatum and Brown. But like, I th- PJ I th- ain't going to stop both oh, of them. He gonna have, he, I think he's like over under like three points every year. <laughs> no, no, no offensive help at all. Um, but – your same point on the Celtics is my same point on the Bucks. Like the what the Sixers have is Embiid. You play the Bucks, Embiid not that big. Like I, like he big, but they got Brooke, Bobby, and Giannis on the court at the same time. You small. Like that's the, and that's the thing. Like Tobias cannot mess with them. Like and that's and that's where your your downfall is going to be at too. So you, you you're kind of like too small for the the Bucks with Embiid, and then you can't and then you can't match up with the Celtics because they got too many wings for you. So the Celtics, I there's nothing. I, there's nothing you really can do because Tobias, like we are, Tobias is the reason you trade Tobias and get you a better wing player. Like they need some, that, that. That's the upgrade there, but you can't. Who gonna take Tobias' contract? You know what I mean? So I mean, you can probably flip it. 
this summer or next year when it's basically the last year of it, you right. can probably do it. Then it's expiring, but right now, no, nah, they. Man, I wish the NBA not to get off topic. Because it's still gonna be on the topic. <laughs> I wish the NBA would stop giving guys maxes and they're not max players. Bro, what's it got? Like, y'all got to y'all got to figure out a way to. It's a salary cap sport, but you got to figure out a way to just like, look, bro. You ain't getting it. We can't pay you forty million dollars. Like we we just can't do that. Look, you need to take this this thirty right here. Cause yeah. you're not no forty million dollar player, and like at that point they paid him. You already saw what Tobias was from Detroit, from Orlando, from the Clippers. He has so many. Stars. You already know what to do. It is so why why give him this this max deal? But I think he I think yeah, he that's, fits well in the role. But to be your third best player is not is not gonna cut it. Nah, man. Now, like, now with a, now with a declining James Harden. Like granted. Big threes really aren't a thing right now. It's more of a, a duo league. But when you start to look at like can my third piece win me a game or take over or something, that ain't that ain't really Tobias. I'm about to say if you say it that way, books they they yes that's they can answer, they can say yes to that. But also can say yes to that because we've seen Marcus Smart, we've seen Brogdon, we've seen Al Horford like Grant Williams can get hot man. Like, like, like Robert Williams that. is a is a rebounding machine. Cavs Cavs got it. Cavs got it. Low key, the Knicks got it. RJ Barrett can can he just go thirty, like they 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 have a better chance. I I trust RJ before I trust Tobias to give me thirty. So you're right. I mean, the Raptors obviously got it. they got too many damn people on their team. Um, so as we go down this list, um, how 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 shocked are you that the Hawks? You know, they just signed Quinn Snyder, uh, with this team. Are you are you like glad that they did this move now? Because I didn't I didn't know you could do this. I didn't know you could hire a coach mid season. And he on the bench. Like I didn't know you could do that. So um that's, that's it's like almost one. like the interim it's almost, almost like the interim thing where you just promote somebody on the you know yeah, from but the I, bench. I, with- but I didn't know you can sign a uh, bring a coach in, like just, and say, Yeah, he gonna coach the rest of the season. Like he go, like he really go coach the rest like that's crazy. But do you think they I mean is, is this the right move to spring him up? Because out of all the teams that's up there, Knicks, Nets, Heat, Hawks, Raptors, Wizards, even the Bulls, I guess. The Hawks are the most disappointing team because this team barely made it last year and they're barely making it now. And you added, uh, you know, a Just borderline all star, right? So in in Murray, so you added a potential all star, borderline all star. He made it last year because injury, and you still the same. <laughs> like so, hopefully, hopefully it is coaching, right? That's what you. That's what you're hoping, but I don't know. I think it's a combination of two things. I think it's a combination of coaching. They had Lloyd Pierce. He was not successful. You fired Lloyd middle of the season, promoted Nate. You made the run with Nate, so you felt entitled that he earned the job. And right. we've seen it just in the course of the last few years. A lot of the older style, older older coaches, they don't really mesh well with the new era of players. So, yeah, they made that run with Nate. You can call that fool's goal because of – being stuff or whatever the case may be, but they made their run and they were competitive against the Bucks in the East Finals. But by keeping Nate, the team has regressed. So you got to blame some of that on the coaching. I think you got to blame some of this on part of the front office because they've been trading John Collins since For three years. I don't know how long? <laughs> so like, how can you? <laughs> How can you trust? Like he, he probably feel like man, I can't even trust the team when I don't know if I'm gonna be here or not. Um, <laughs> they 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 picked Cam Reddish in the draft. That didn't pan out. Don't even try to. Pick whether that was, they, they whether that was due to yeah, like yeah, whether that was due to development, Cam coaching, whatever. That didn't work out. Hunter is solid, but you still kind of want more from him. Yep, yeah, uh, good player. Yeah, you make the move for DeJounte Murray. I don't mind that. I mean, you let go Kevin Herter, who's flourishing on the Kings we just talked about. He go crazy. So I feel like the Hawks got a lot going on. I mean, usually where there's smoke, there's fire. You got the rumors about trade being, you know, just different stuff. We can't confirm what, what all they're saying, but coach killer. you got you got the, the stuff about they say about Trey and everything, the coachable and the the trade for Luca stuff all gonna hang over both teams' heads. So you gotta still deal with all that. 
I mean, he was kind of dubbed like the the next wave of Curry, but he's not as efficient as Curry. And I think there was a bad tag to kind of put on him anyway. Yeah. That's kind of like when they kept sticking a Jordan tag on everybody for or, a decade. Or everybody. Like, who, you just, just sinking people's careers before they even get started. Not even, remember, remember everybody who was long and skinny was the next KD? Like, bro. Ingram, the only one that's like kind of kind of did it. but Kind of got but it. But you remember uh, <laughs> the dude from Brazil, Cabocolo? Oh, he a Brazilian KD. That man is like, what? <laughs> anyway, that's yeah, like they, all ten. They be sinking people's careers with these tags, man. You can't, you can't do that, man. Like the only person we got to give him a shout out every episode. The only person who they put a tag on that lived up to it was damn Brown. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like yeah, they they tagged Kobe. Kobe did his thing, but like just recent memory, the only like tag that somebody got put on was Brown, and, and he surpassed everything that was put on him. So yeah, yeah, man. This um, the Hawks. I like the Quinn Snyder move because you can just kind of look at the team and say, well, if Trey is your Donovan Mitchell, if Murray is your better version of Joe Ingles or something like that, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's probably if uh, yeah, if Hunter is like your defensive version of Bogdanovich, and you can kind of figure out something with Capella and Collins, and you know, keep your bench fluffed out, they may be a solid team. But uh, the East is just going to keep getting better. Giannis only 26, 27. He's not going anywhere. Tatum. They'll, they'll, they'll figure out something with Middleton contract or they'll replace him. They'll figure out something. Hey, chill up, chill, Brown, chill, 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 my boy Mitty now. He good, man. He tore ACL, man. He, he, he back now. But I'm, but I'm saying your contract up next year, though. They got to figure out something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If uh, if Brown re-signed with the Celtics, you lock, that means you locking him and Tatum in for a few more years. They shouldn't fall off. Cavs, Mobley, Garland, Cavs and Mitchell. No will. No will. So, yeah. <laughs> so now you're looking at three teams: Brunson, Randall, RJ. That's future, young. So you at, at best you would fit. At best, at, at, if, if if we think all those teams continue upward, you're at best fifth. So Hall's got to figure out, man, because Philly, we don't know. Nets. Um, they record good because of what they had with KD and Kyrie, but we don't know what Nets gonna turn into. Nets, Nets definitely falling right now, but like the fact that like the rest of the teams under them like don't scare me. Like the Nets, I don't Bro, want. Nets, I don't, I don't the want Nets to play gonna be in the damn play in game. Yeah, oh, Nets, I, Nets definitely out of here. This, I don't think they are gonna make it because because I thought maybe Ben Simmons was gonna play a little play, but they don't shut him down for so, so that's not that's not happening. Man. Man, oh. Ben finna get damn balled out like John Wall. Well, that boy Ben gonna be playing for uh, Ice Cube in a minute, boy. But they finna, they finna send Ben over there with the white. <laughs> Shane, huh? <laughs> and shoot, at, at, at least the white. The white go like, crazy first. Got a Hall of Fame career. Ben ain't Ben just got some checks. Well, this, Granted, they some good ass checks. Good ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real. Oh man, um. Yeah, at, at best fit, I just I just don't like I mean the Hawks ain't the Hawks messed up that draft night when they traded Luca. Uh that's 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 the reason why they ain't ready yet now. Uh, even though Trey Young is, is good great player. Now I, I'm gonna take away from him, but um and I get I mean the, as far as a playing game, it, the crazy part is as close as wet the West teams, we kinda know, all right, it's a bunch of them, but like they all can win. Over here, it's a bunch of them. But they all sorry. Like we have, you have no. I have no, no. The only team that gives anybody any trouble will probably, I guess, be Miami. But yes, but I don't even think, bro. I don't think, I don't think Miami can beat Bucks, bro. Like, like they can't, they can't do it. I don't think they can beat Boston either no more. Like that's like they, bought, Miami has not got better. All they did was they did the whole. Uh, we give you a raise check. That's all they did. They get, yeah, they brought Kevin Love. Then I don't think it makes them better. Like. Yeah, he, he can space the floor, knock, knock, knock some shots down, got playoff pedigree, but Kyle Lowry, Kevin Love, Jimmy Butler, are we really scared? And this, and this was 2014, I'm terrified. But 23? No, sir. Like, <laughs> this, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. And my Kentucky boys be BSing. Bam and Tyler, they, they, <laughs> they, they be BSing sometimes. I ain't really got time for them either. So, like, I'm not really scared of Miami. I'm not. The Hawks, the Hawks should give you the scare. Right in the like, like, right? They AC to play Bucks. Like that should be a scare, but like I, I think the Bucks gonna out here five. Like I, I just, I just don't, I just don't see Heat or Hawks like pushing Boston and Milwaukee for real, for real. And 
the Knicks, the only team that can actually go make a make a little run. Obviously, we already said the Bucks and Boston uh, going to the conference finals, but the Knicks own. I can see that that's not a you know top four seed that can make win. So like, I just don't. And it's bad though because they all right there. Like the paces might make. This shit. I mean, the best way to sum it up, the East is a two headed monster. Bucks and Celtics. Your next tier is can we make some noise? 76ers, Cavs, and Knicks. That's it. Knicks. And I'll just say Heat because they got spoke and a veteran yeah. late in the roster. And then the, the third tier is we don't know what the hell we doing. We just fighting for the play in just to say we made it. That's that's the Raptors, Bulls, Wizards, and the Nets. Hook. And I- then everybody else is just we 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 just playing the games to finish the damn season. Pistons, Hornets, Magic. <laughs> hey, I look. Be, be, I don't like. But we like Pacers though. We we like Halliburton. We like Mathurin. Like Miles Turner. I mean, we we've always liked Miles Turner. Yeah. They have well, some stuff in place. I like. I rather have Pacers Duarte. make it. Yeah, I like Duarte. I rather have Pacers make it in, like than than the Wizards and the Raptors. Like because 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 don't tell me you're gonna blow the day, you're gonna blow the team up and you do nothing. All these rumors that the Raptors had, you do nothing. So you're going to stay the same and hope Ad and Polder going to be the, the answer. You're still in the same boat where you at. Like, the, the Nets going to get out of here. I'm not worried about them. Like, the I mean, the Wizards are having a good season. Like, I like what Kyle Kuzma and Porzingis is doing. But, like, like where has the Bradley Bill from three years ago? I mean, that, if they had that Bradley Bill, they would be they would be the team that's the the second tier you talk about, like, got a chance. But Bradley Bill went from 30 to 20. Like, I just, I've never seen somebody fall off like that. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that. He's been in the league like not like at first I wasn't, but when you consider that Kuz was putting up hella numbers, yeah. or Zingas kind of got back on track. He put up number two, so a few less touches and stuff like that. You know what the problem um, is? The problem is they gave him two hundred fifty million dollars. <laughs> hey, worst contract in the NBA. You got oh for sure, for sure. Cause this is this this should have been your signing trade guy. You, you, should, you probably you, you should, I mean because you're you're ten C, but I mean how much is really how much is really Bradley Bill impacting the Wizards right now? Like, I think I think it's Kyle, Kyle Kuzma team, man. Outfits and all, that's Kyle Kuzma team right there. So, <laughs> and that's that's sad. I mean that, that's not saying that's not that you you're not a good team if he's your best player. And I love Kyle Kuzma, but like the, man, the on, Wizards man. are the. The Wizards are the team that we got to look at and just say, where are they going for the future? Like that's really what we're looking at with them. I, I, and so, the problem is they had no, they had no, bro. Then they draft, then they have a top ten pick and no, he don't play. Johnny Davis. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't play him. What the? I, like, so I, like, I, I, you're looking at Bill, who's about to turn thirty. He's gonna make forty plus million for the next four years. So Jesus. he's, uh, and like you got to think about this. Porzingis, he's not going to decline it. He got a he got a thirty six million dollar play option for next year. He's going to take that. Except for sure, uh, Kyle Kuzma going to decline his shit. Thirteen million. Oh, he didn't play that value. Kuzma going to get thirty. <laughs> Kuzma going to get going 30. to the bank, boy. Ba- hey, so, yeah, back Kuzma him up. going to the bank. Back him up. <laughs> uh, you just talked about Johnny Davis. They he's not really getting any burn. Come on, man. So, like, your roster is basically nothing. I mean, Monte Morris, solid player. DeLon Wright is solid. They had Barton, but bought him out. Uh, Gaffey, we, we, like, we like Denny coming out of the, for the draft, but Denny hasn't really been what we thought he was going to be. They traded Rui already. already so, this is a <laughs> – hey, the problem is you can't even, you can't even trade Bill nowhere. Like – the the only the only like risk you can do to get out the con you can I mean, you can't do that either. I'm about to say trade for Ben, but Ben sorry too. So I mean, at least build something, give you twenty four and four or something. So I, I don't I don't know you. They they pretty much stuck. They just gonna be in limbo for a while. I mean, Man. I, off topic, off topic, <laughs> off topic. What do you consider to be the worst GM job in the league? How much time we got, bro? We got, we got, we got, we got, we got over ten minutes. We good. All right, yeah. So, all right. I just want. What, what do you think is the worst GM job in the league? My, I'm gonna ask before you go. It's the Wizards, bro. It's the Wizards. Like, we now see why Masai Ujiri did not take this job. Like, this is a for that to be a great man. DC is the dopest freaking city, bro. Yeah. So, DC is. You mean like you mean like as right now 
Curly constructed. If you had, if you could take any job, what's the worst one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we were doing a worst GM job draft, what's your first pick, basically? <laughs> like to me, it's Wizards, bro. It's I can't see no GM job worse than this outside of Hornets. I'm about to say Wizards, Hornets, number two. I, I I'll agree. Wizards, Hornets, and I'm and I'm gonna throw your boys in there. Spurs. That's probably the top three worst teams the GM to be a GM of. Because Spurs, you look at the history, they got Dave Robinson, Tim Duncan, Parker, Ginobili, Kawhi. Once they ain't getting none of them guys or anybody close, they ain't been nothing. Like, and Pop Pop was like what? Probably 70% win percentage. He probably Man, like he killing bro. <laughs> For for the historical content, but he killing his legacy, bro. You ain't made the playoffs in like four or five years. You barely winning twenty games. Like, come on, man. I, you had a fifteen game losing streak. Like, y'all, come on, man. Y'all pop should be going out like this. I, I'll go to to round out my top five, Minnesota, because just just historical context for being a GM and now because. You made the move for Gobert, which I don't, I don't question that. Like I think I was, I think for as far as to try to compete, you had to do something, right? But like Minnesota, all they do is draft. They have to draft their talent, and once Ant Man contract come up, you got pay him. You got to pay him fifty million dollars a year. <laughs> so, yep. so you got to. Otherwise, you sorry. So, so it's uh, Minnesota. I think Minnesota did for me, and then probably um, and, and, and it's another great city. I would probably go Houston. I, they don't get, they don't get nothing right, like. I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's doing. Because they have so many young players, I can't even put them on the list. But they we got we got we, we got we got to see what Jalen Jabari on turn to the goon. They got some Bro, talent. They got to put it turn into. I'm telling you right now, Jabari. I'm not a fan of Jabari Smith at all. Like I, I don't. I don't. I see, Paolo what? <laughs> they that's that's what it. That will say like the Rockets don't get lucky to get the first hit, first pick since what they got y'all me and I, I mean you got T Mac and Harden off 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 a. Uh, Guys on the rise and teams had to trade them like that. That's your best hope, but uh, Jalen, I don't, I don't believe Jalen Green is ever going to be a leader or somebody who's going to do more than just score bit basketball. Kevin Porter is a behavior child. Sangoon was the only one that's probably going to be consistent. And is what he, what he the, the you got Joker, baby Joker, you got little Joker. He probably a little Joker. So that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's your best right there. I, mean, I, I guess, man. Uh, but Wizards, you for sure like. Forty million, and Porzingis gonna have thirty six. That come on, man, seventy six mil for two guys who not even top twenty players no more. Bro, when you you, lose you gave top, you you gave that top five. I'm looking at this right here. I think all the worst GM jobs except for one are in the East. I think Wizards is a terrible one. Hornets. I think Hornets is a terrible one. I think Bulls is a terrible one. Like they're stuck, bro. Bulls a bitch free yeah, after this year. True, you true. got you got the Rosen. He gonna probably bail. We don't know what happened with Levine. You got trade Levine. Lonzo, Lonzo Ball injured. Probably. Won't, I mean, mm-hmm. what are we going with the man? That is he, ugly to do. That's ugly. So right. I, I think Wizards, Bulls, Hornets, low key. You gotta say Nets after what just happened with them. Oh Nets! Oh Nets broke as hell for the to be that sorry. They broke as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got ben, it. Yeah. ben make what thirty plus. Joe Harris at eighteen. Uh, Mikael at eighteen, nineteen. Then you got uh Dinwiddie up there, and then Dorian Finney Smith got twelve. That's five players, and you already over hunt. That's yeah. That's and you can't get no better because you can't trade nobody. <laughs> so. Yeah, you got it. And then, bro, I know you went Spurs. Spurs. I'm gonna, go what we just, I'm gonna go what we just talked about. I'm gonna go Blazers, bro. They stuck. They can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. Yeah, they just be making trades and say, "Hey, I mean, man, we try." You're right, at least it- <laughs> <laughs> we try, bro. Boy. We got we got the eyeball. Bro. I mean, that's something, right? But uh, the, the the Spurs' last hope is to get Victor. If they don't get Victor, what do they do? Because if you tank, I hope the next and, and, and bro, the only the the Spurs saving grace, I would have put them six or seven. The only reason I didn't say them is because it's Texas. No state tax. Yeah. Okay. And if they ever can just clean the books up a little bit, you got killed in. But if you can just get one or two, hit on one or two picks. But see, that's the see, that's the problem. They hit or on, just sign free agents. But they like, hit they hit on Dave Robinson for what fifteen years, right? You hit on Tim Duncan for damn near twenty, and then the Kawhi and then you hit on Kawhi, 
and like you got you got DeRozan, but then you got rid of him and Aldridge. Like you 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 finally got like some all stars in there, but you had to go because the timeline was up. So Man, they tried to yeah, it's over. I, I mean, the only reason I say Minnesota is because if you if you got if you could, if you took the Minnesota job this year, right? You so you're thirty two and thirty two. Like oh, we got a chance, but realistically, you don't believe they can win a championship. Like and the problem is Cat been out too, so you 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 don't, you don't know how like how good they really are. But we know how Cat is, right? And it's like you literally as that GM, you can't do nothing for the next few years, and all and all that you could do is pay Ant Man. That's only uh, you just sit there because you can't because you already got Cat and Go Bell on max deals. You can't sign D'Lo, so you had to trade it for Mike Conley. Like now you have to go draft a point guard. Like who? You, who like who are you gonna bring in? <laughs> I, I feel like the Wolves could have an out. All right, what's the what's the out? We got we got four minutes. We got four minutes left. What's your, what's your I out? feel like the Wolves could have an out. The out would be you trade Cat. Got trade Cat. Yeah, okay. We, we, we agree to that. Mm-hmm. So if I trade him, you got to go upside. I would just trade him to the Warriors and just say, hey, give me Kaminga and Poole. Give me Kaminga and Poole for Cat. And two scores we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to run it. We'll, we'll try to run it with Ant Man. Pool, Kaminga, and go bear to, to go bear contract as body. Like that to me, that's that's, now, that's the out. You I would say I would say that is a good out. The problem and the is the reason why that's the out is because the Warriors got to pivot at some point. The and War- at some oh, point in the next six months. See now, 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 now the Warriors is a great franchise, so, uh, especially the last what ten last years. decade. So the problem is with the Warriors is, as a GM job. I don't know. So and if you if you say if you say you have to let go of Clay and Draymond, if, that, if that's the, the 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 priority, you have Dre and Clay have to go. I don't know how the hell you keep a winning team around Curry. Like I know guys would come play for Curry, with Curry and that system, but we talk. Okay, so, but and, and I was about to say like realistically, I don't see nobody that's an all star going over there. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't unless unless you trade Cat over there. Like you say, Cat. Like that's that's. I don't know how you keep a winning team around them. If, if Draymond and Clay go, and Draymond already talk, talking like he crazy, he already gone. So uh, yeah, yeah, Draymond out. Of, he, Draymond, he know he not getting paid. So, but Clay, they probably play. They probably pay Clay though, but they pay Pool all the money, and he's back off the bench making. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta start Clay. You gotta start Pool too. <laughs> you gotta have to because the money wise, you gotta do, gotta do it. I, You're like, it, it's gonna come down to loyalty. How much do they love Clay? Because if they if they love Clay, they'll lock him in with Curry till they retire. And just and ride then, off now I, you gotta you gotta keep Wiggins plus those two. Oh, they, and you gotta just trade they, Kamika and Poole to get Cat or something like that. Did they trade Wiggins? I mean, did they, didn't, they, didn't they pay Wiggins? Yeah, they already paid Wiggins. That's a lot. Of and like, see, he's young. You you got you got to shoot between see, him and Poole to keep one of them because they're young. You got to keep Curry. It's, that's the franchise. You, you can't, can't trade you can't Curry. Let, you so. can't let Curry go. No way. So, so you you locked in on Curry and Poole or Wiggins. I was I was probably got to keep Wiggins. I would say the out of the out of the uh, top tier teams, that would be the hardest GM job because I don't know what to do. Like that one in Sixers probably be as far as the top tier teams. That'd be your hardest. That'd be your hardest one because your goal is to keep a winning team around Curry, and I don't know how to do it. Like I'm look like like the cat makes makes sense. I'm trying to think of any other star, but you should have drafted Dan Lamelo. Anyway, hey, <laughs> if he can turn around his career. How Curry turned his around off like the, all those ankle injuries. We know what his future gonna be because Curry had all those injuries. Mm. And what about shoot? Once, once Curry got right, two MVPs, four titles, all these all NBA teams, shoot contract. Hey, hey, that's a goat shooter. Hey, that's a good that that is a good topic though. The top, the 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 worst GM job to take. That that is crazy. So we'll, we'll be back next week. Uh, with another dope episode make sure y'all check that out Um, Peter 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 Peter